Hello everybody. In the previous video, I showed you how you can fix uh, problems, issues with faces in Midjourney when it renders some artifacts, uh, some asymmetrical issues, and noise, and uh, very easy. Uh, you can actually check out the video at the top right corner. But in this video, I'm going to show you another way, more advanced, but provide better results. So this was done with the arc tool and uh, yeah, results were very, very good and very easy because it's very uh, user friendly interface. Let's take a look at the next one. All right, so first of all, uh, again, you see lots of things here. I know it can be complicated, but I'll explain to you how we can easily do it. All right, so uh, basically the first thing you get to this page, you need to do go to runtime and do change runtime type and choose GPU, all right? Uh, two options choose gpu next uh it says also here as you can see next we can do one thing i did it with runtime going to runtime and run all it will run all the codes below or you can do it one by one all right so if you really don't want to mess things up just run all all right and just uh start it if you want it to be step by step you can just go press the play button here and you're going to do one by one as I followed, I'm uh, going to show you. So you can do run all or just go one by one. So if you do run all, it will start executing this one first. This is a code that prepare the, prepares the environment, set it up. All right. Uh, and you can see and download the pre-trained model. All right. You don't need to know anything about this code. It will just happen on a server. All right. After this one finishes and you see a V here, you can continue going down. And this is, well, the main thing. Test your images. Very simple, fast. So again, if you run time, run time all, uh, you're gonna get here and if you do kind of a circulating, so it shows you that it's loading and that's fine. You can actually uh, interact with it straight away. Or if you do it one by one, you need to press the play button here and then you're gonna see choose files. Here you can choose a file. I already chose a file, by the way, that I used by the way in my previous video uh, in a portrait from me journey, all right? And uh, once you do it, it will take time uh, and it will process the image, all right? Uh, and then it will show you in the visualize the results. Again, if you do runtime all, you don't need to do anything. Uh, it will just do it automatically. But if you want to activate one by one, you need to press this button. Then you can see the results. And as you can see here, the image that I upload, the portrait image and the result from code former by the way this result is so much better uh compared to the previous one because it's really maintained the details in the other areas it actually not touching anything else here uh and the thing is that it already detected the blue part of the eye here and actually turned the eyes to be blue rather than the previous one which was actually dark all right so it really uh creates some really and also less smoothing so overall, it just looks better in general. So the two images, I'm going to share a comparison in a moment. All right. And then the next one, you can do download the results. Again, if you did runtime, run all, it will just do it automatically. Or if not, you need to press it and you download. It might take some time. So don't refresh the page or anything. Uh, just let it uh, download. And uh, eventually it will show you the option to download. It's going to zip it. All right. Zip the file and you can download it uh, to your computer. All right. The other thing uh, is uh, that other things that are not related to you don't actually need to use it. Just processing other images just to demo things, how it works. All right. So you don't need it. But if you do run all, it will also run this one. Uh, that's why if you don't want the extra things, you can just go and do one by one. But again, you can do run all it's, if it's easier for you and you want to do it uh, without interacting with these buttons and do it step by step. All right. So the results here, as you can see, now let's take a look and compare to the previous uh, one that I used. Uh, keep in mind, there are plenty of others, all right? It's not like these are the only ones. There are plenty of others. I'm going to share better once I come across them. So this is from Codeformer. Look how beautiful it is. The details are main maintained compared to the original, by the way. This is from uh, Tensor Arc Lab. You can see that it's different. Now, Code former actually doesn't touch the other areas. The face is actually maintained very close to the original, whether uh, uh, arc actually kind of uh, changes a bit. And also a uh, code former piece sharper, right? And more close to the original uh, intensive arc. 
uh, it's a bit smoother, kind of like it has a beautified filter, smoother face, and less close to the original. All right, so this is a side by side. The original from Mid Journey is on the left. This is Crowd Former, and this is Arc. All right, Crowd Former and Arc. As you can see, both are doing very good results, but you can see the difference here. Uh, the sharpness of the face, details, and how it actually the other areas are affected or not affected uh, by the face restoration algorithm, All right? But again, slightly uh, more uh, advanced. Uh, but again, there are plenty of others, which I'm going to share once I come across a good one that I'm using. But this one does an incredible job, the quote former, and definitely recommend trying it. And it's, it's not complicated, again. Once you understand how to use it, it's not complicated at all. Yes, all these findings are useful. Uh, if you have any question, let me know. And personally, I don't understand why they actually don't combine this library, uh, not this library in particular, but any other open source library that is good for actually fixing faces uh, and just have it as a feature. So we can use it inside Midjourney and uh, just have it toggled on. So you can have it by default and uh, fix issues with the face, or we can actually apply an option to do it after we get results that we are not satisfied with, at least temporarily, until they find out maybe a way to actually improve it. So this is it. Consider leaving a like and subscribe and comment, please. It helps a lot. And I see you very soon on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.